Hey guys, welcome. I'm Busi Selesho. I am an international accredited money coach, money consciousness teacher, and energy healer. So, um, why are you broke? I wanted to do this video because I've been getting a lot of questions around this whole thing of money. Of course, all of you have probably seen a few videos where I've talked about how I got myself into 40 million rent debt and then of course came out and hala, you get me. That is a thing of the past. But let's talk about how do we get to that uh, vibration of being broke. Now, there is two things that we always have to make sure that we understand that they are not the same, poverty and lack. Now, I don't think there's anybody who's watching my video right now who is in poverty. Poverty is a total different vibration. It's And if you've got a phone, you've got data, you are watching me right now, you are not in poverty and because of time let's not talk about poverty but of course maybe when i have time i'll do another video and just explain what that how that looks like and what does that how does that show up okay now most people are in a lack vibration that is why you will find yourself broke and when you're broke is when you cannot be able to take care of your all your uh, your financial needs and you can afford the things that are most important to you and i'm not talking about a holiday or the latest whatever car i'm just talking about being able to pay all your bills and being able to take care of your kids and what what and what what so you're not able to do all of those things every other month you are worried about if you're going to be able to handle all of that that's when you are in lack now how do we find ourselves in luck? So there has been a video that I talked about uh, changing timelines. And um, in that video, I was just explaining how we choose a certain path for different reasons because our soul needs a specific lesson. And when we have learned the lesson or when we are over that learning, we can change timelines and then go into another timeline where life is totally different now you probably have heard somebody said hey i went to a church they prayed for me and i got a miracle i got healed immediately or um yeah uh, somebody um went to a rehab and they came back and they never drank again or they've never taken drugs again or, I mean, all this kind of stuff where it looks like a miracle, like nobody can really explain why it changed. Or you woke up one day and there you found the job you've been wanting to find all your life. Or you get that business deal that you've been wanting to have for so long. I wouldn't talk about Iloto because Iloto has other issues and we don't have time on this video. But when you find a, ba a breakthrough when that breakthrough finally happens and you really just so much cannot explain what happened really it's like god saved you like the lord found you so there is an explanation there is a scientific explanation or maybe let's say a mystic explanation or a spiritual explanation of that it is because all of us are living the same life in different timelines so i explain that there is a busi that is in lane one if you if you're driving on the highway you're going to jobek there is probably four or five lanes they're all going to jobek you're from pretoria and there's a kind lane one it's going to jobek there's a kind lane two it's going to jobek there's a kind lane three it's going to jobek so all of these cars are going to jobek but cars in lane one might be going slow because lane one is is slower there's traffic but cars in lane four are going with more than 120 uh, kilometers per hour because that lane is open and there's nobody there so a lot of people will clog up their lo their long lines in their life because uh, they they have issues and they are in the slower lanes and they are in the pain lanes they are in the suffering lanes in those lanes there's debt there's sickness there's crappy relationships there is um all sorts of just things going wrong wrong jobs businesses that are not showing um health you know just business are dying money is not available 
opportunities are not working so you are in that lane but there is another lane where the same you is having a way better life and is already living that life so when you change your lane in centurion you're not gonna go and start in pretoria that you are going to go back to your life and start again because now you've changed lanes now you are living a better life no you just continue from centurion you just change the lane in centurion so everything is continuing like this now it went, that's why when we take uh, the psychedelics as, as you guys have probably heard me talk about this all the time that i, I give out um so ayahuasca uh psychedelic uh, medicine ayahuasca and san pedro so we're using these medicines to close the left brain and we open only the right brain and then when you have the right brain opened you can be able to change timelines because you can see from the high place and see all the timelines you are on you can see yourself where, when i definitely have a timeline i've seen this i am a drug addict i sleep under bridges and i you know i don't bath and my life is a mess and that timeline is available and if i can do things in my life right now and mess up my life i will change and i'll go and i'll go to that timeline where i'm broke i don't have anything that timeline is i am living it as it as as now and if i want to change to a lower vibration i will go there that is why we're always talking about it. make sure that you you increase your vibration to be high so that we're talking about what you want to tap into the next better timeline you want to tap into the, but then changing lanes happens in a, in the most difficult way the transformation that's why we're doing things like the fire cleansing ceremony where we are pushing the transformation we're taking the medicine we are pushing the transformation so this weekend we're going to be doing san pedro the sunday come through we're going to be pushing the timeline and san pedro talks a lot about um uh, things like um procrastination money witchcraft stuff you are changing timelines on that if you are in a vibration of lack you don't have to change anything you just need to get out of it that's why you broke you're not broke because you don't know what you're doing there isn't opportunities out there there isn't business opportunities there isn't funding there isn't a better job there is a better job you know there is a better job like you can go on the internet and you can search on the job you want and you can see that better jobs are there it is you who needs to get out of your lack vibration and into a different timeline. Now, you changing these timelines, you need to learn the lesson about why you are here. So that's why we, we give you the medicine. The medicine helps you to raise while you drink the medicine for that six hours. You raise and you see all the mistakes. And then you come back and you say, oh, I'm stopping this. This is no longer important to me. This It's like, it's like, it's like a somebody that's like, oh, I'm in love with somebody. I'm in love with somebody. Until the day you find out that they're cheating on you or you, you, you find them in a room with somebody else. And then you're like, I'm no longer doing this. You found out. Now you know why you need to leave them. But if somebody came and told, and told you, oh, this person is doing this, this, you'd be like, but I don't know, but I don't know. But the day you know. You're just like, okay, now I have awareness. Now I know. Sorry, I can't do this anymore because now I know. So the moment you take the San Pedro or you take the ayahuasca, you lift up. Now you know why you can't be in lack anymore. And it's a knowing. It's like nobody can take you out of that relationship until you know for sure that you are ready or you are done with it. So the, the ayahuasca and the San Pedro does that. It helps us to change the timeline. So this one that we're doing this weekend is about lack. I had to come out of my leg vibe and it changed everything. And I've seen people that come through to do San Pedro over and over, weekend after weekend, changing their timelines, totally going and getting the best job, totally going and get the money they've been looking for, totally getting the invoices that have been paid. I mean, one lady came the same, same weekend. It, we're doing it a Saturday. On a Sunday, she got her 100K payment. With the one that she's been begging and asking that she gets paid, she got paid off it. 
so come through this weekend on Saturday. Please make sure that you send info, um, your a message to me on the DM or uh, information on my description, and make sure that you prepare. Of course, you need about two days of preparation. I am gonna see you this weekend. Please come through. You need to do something about your life.